This is the ninth year that the students of TPK 4185 Industrial System Design have overcome the limitations of LEGO Mindstorms to create a functioning factory layout. In keeping with the increased interest within NTNU in space systems, this year, the factory is mirrored on the industry that has built up around the production of mini satellites or CubeSats, as they are called. As every year, the students apply a disciplined systems thinking of process that begins with doing background research to understand the problem domain, in this case, the requirements related to space systems that must survive launch conditions and function in a vacuum. Next, they consider the possible solutions to the challenges and create prototypes that mitigate the risk of their design ideas. Finally, they implement their design by building the factory. This year, we have a customer for the factory and they have imposed requirements on our layout to include in and outbound logistics, inventory, production, assembly, and quality assurance. Students in this course work together in multidisciplinary, multicultural teams and use relevant methods to track their status. The primary learning objectives include attention to the interfaces and developing communication skills to resolve the challenges that pop up during the semester. Again this year, one team served in the role of systems integrator, with, which helps all the groups track their interfaces and helps them also to resolve more complicated solutions. This was the largest class since the initiation of this course and the students face the biggest challenge ever posed for this lab. For the first time, they must build and fully document this lab such that students from other universities will be able to replicate this factory. I continue to be impressed by the ingenuity and dedication the students demonstrate in this project. So we are the systems integration of this project which means that our main purpose was to make every part of this factory to go work together as one. Our work started when the different parts of the factory were simulated and when the different groups were uh, given uh, different parts of the factory. Once we knew the, the, st the stations, we had to figure out a LEGO model as precise as the real uh, one developed in the NUTS, as well as a layout for the factory itself. Both of them went through different phases to adapt them to, the, to some requirements of the different groups. But we ended up with a similar model and an efficient factory. Also, our work consisted on putting into contact the different groups, the ones that went afterwards and the ones that were previous, so that the inputs and the outputs of the different sections were joined together to work as one only system. This is the inbound logistics area. Here we receive the pre manufactured parts and raw materials, and we use an AGD to uh, transport uh, everything around. So, this is the production department, and this is the raw material processing unit where we take long strips of raw material and we put it into our press. And at which point the press cuts it up into individual pieces to be then sorted and handed over to the assembly. The truck picks up the electronic components to go into testing in the testing area. So here is the assembly. We get uh, finished to produce here from the warehouse and then we test it. Uh, if the component is good, there will come a green light and then it will be sent further on and to assembly. So here, this is the assembly of the top and the bottom frame, the CubeSat. So we get the raw material already cut and I'm building the top part and the bottom frame. And then I'm putting the top part right here and the bottom frame for the assembly. So here it's the assembly of the inner parts of the cube sets. We receive the bottom frame here on the table and we put the tested parts inner. And uh, then when we are finished, we just put the bottom frame here 
in order to assemble it with the top frame. So we are moving first the bottom frame. Then we are moving the top frame. Just grab by the frame and move. And then there is one more step where an operator needs to put the top and bottom together for the next step. And then it's ready. So this is the second quality assurance area where you conduct the second and the third electronics test. So it starts by fetching and getting a grab of the CubeSat. Then it's inspected by the LEGO guys. If it's approved, they pass it further on to the weight test. This is the vibration area. The CubeSat arrives from the weight test to our area, then we put it on our table. The table moves up. Then the handles come from the side and push it in the CubeSat. The table moves down. The test will be done. Then the table comes up again. And the handles move back. Then after that, the first round, it will go down again, come back to the belt and goes to the uh, final assembly. The function of external assembly is to attach the storage canisters onto the CubeSat frame, as well as the antenna. Uh, so this is the final assembly where the solar panels are attached to the CubeSat. Um, so it's a manual assembly stage and we have a jig to support the satellite in the process. And then the panels can be put on. And the jig rotates. And then after it's finished, it's offloaded from the jig. And put onto the AGV. For the internal transportation, there are two AGVs, and uh, the first AGV transports the CubeSat from the solar panel assembly to the electronical testing. For the second round in this uh, component, the CubeSat is delivered uh, on the second interface. Once it's in position, they will do a second test, uh, see that everything's right, and then pass it through for the second weight test. After the final assembly, the CubeSat arrives the second time at our station. We lift it up with the table and uh, the test will be made out and then the AGV comes and pick up the CubeSat from the store. We are outbound logistics. Our job consisted to match uh, internal logistics with packaging. Our solution, uh, the satellite is dragged by a conveyor to, into a carton box that we fill in with bubble paper to protect the good.